the uh, November 9th in prayer time. Nicole had a vision, so we're going to hear that out. So, a few visions. Go ahead, sister. Yeah. I just saw the, if you're familiar with the running of the bulls in Spain, um, I saw the bulls and they were coming towards me. They were coming right at me. And one had a ring in its nose. The one in the middle had a ring in its nose. And then the rest were next to it. And they all had horns. And they were coming just straight straight for me. Um, and as you were praying, um, some began to falter a little bit and uh, fall down a little bit. And then um, I saw a man, and I think he might, he was dressed in white, but I think he was meant to represent the person who usually holds the, the red uh, sheet in front of the bull, yeah. but, he, but he wasn't holding that at all. He had stood on the side of the road and he put this needle down onto a record player and he played it. He began to play a song. And when the song played these white gates shut and kept the bulls from going any further. Hmm. And, um, the person, I think there was a person that was able to kind of run the, the, the space in the gates was small enough for a person to run through mm. that the bulls couldn't go any further. Mm. And so someone ran out with great speed, mm. with great speed. And mm. then uh, that was the end of the vision. Mm. And then I just saw something really small. I just saw um, a, a, no, a, a, a opener like a, um, that you open a wine bottle with. Mm-hmm. The cork, the, mm-hmm. the corkscrew, that's what they're called, the corkscrew. Mm-hmm. Um, a corkscrew going into a cork and opening a bottle of wine and the wine being poured into a glass. That mm. was it. Wow. Oh. No, do you understand what it means? The first one, no. especially. <laughs> I don't. I don't. Well, I mean, really... the, the bulls seemed really angry, and we were talking about anger. So, <laughs> yeah, the bulls is a, is a, is a, is a forceful emotions of a man, right? Mm, yeah, can overtake man. So normally we think heroic fight it to challenge. That's how we exercise the faith. Making sense to you? Basically, yeah. run against those things, wrestle with them, put those things down. Am I? That's normally. What I call called the strong man mentality proposed by many, uh, especially in the charismatic circles. Okay, from the last century on. Um, do you understand my point? You know, so actually, it's it can be very problematic. You know, that's I don't see Bible do that, but biblical character don't do that. In says my point. You know, so it's pre- preached by certain preachers. Just allow me to mention a few names, for example. Um, John G. Lake, you know, so, uh, what's the guy's name? Smith Wilgworth, mm-hmm. you know, how faith, third kind of faith, you know, never believe you can get sick, stuff like that, you know, so, well, that's not necessarily a very healthy brand of understanding exercise of faith. Now, God can honor those things. People, pure heart, they want to serve the Lord. They have compassion with others and want to use by God. Okay, so I'm not mm-hmm. saying that is bad at all. But you look at a Paul and Jesus himself, their lives, they're more concentrated on what? What the true sonship life is about. Young says my point. The obedience mm-hmm. is not attached to be used by God in a certain way, powerful way, manifesting spiritual power or miracle working, whatever. Young says my point, you know, so the more about the inner life being fully transformed. Yeah. Yes. It can be good. very weak, you know, had to endure, suffer. You had to yield to certain very unfavorable circumstances. Am I right? So you don't necessarily <coughs> have the Lord deliver you from it. Yeah. You know, I, I would recommend you to really study, don't have to in the last study, but uh, there's a sister called Terry Tambo, am I right? You know her, am I right? So, What's know, her name? Terry Tambo, who wrote the, 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 the book called The Hiding Place. 
you know, made a movie called The Hiding Place. I mean, don't oh, necessarily. Oh, Yes. I was yeah, wanting you to. to the kids. Yeah, yeah the point is not her teaching per se. She's always, 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 always as, as, The point is her, her testimony, is uniquely different than those people don't go through those things. Right. Making sense to you? She understands suffering was what it means. She understands. God don't have to deliver you or overcome an evil for you to be faithful and good to you. You understand my point? And death or overrun by evil is not the end of the story of life. It's not something to complain about. So her orientation, basically, of faith and God's goodness are different. Making sense to you? You know, so... Mm -hmm. uh, am I making sense to you? So yeah. in this slide, you can see Corin Temple is the one who played the record. You understand my point? That's my testimony, I will tell you. You know, evil don't touch me in my life as long as I walk with the Lord. It's not because I try to fight evil. <laughs> I seek to fight evil. Rather, I learn to, in the hiding place to learn who God is and obey into the truth. And uh, sometimes not diligently, but begrudgingly, you know? You know, that's my point. Unhappily, you know, so to obey into it. But I understand the value of it. I would like to be like the song, you know, there are two songs Jesus said. The first young man said, hey, I'm going to do what he wants to do. You know, so that's normal Christians will do that. Most to do that. And then the second son said, no, I'm not sure, no. <laughs> so, so, the other says, my point, you know, so I ended up doing it. I'm making sense to you, you know, so yeah. who is obedient? On the Ukrainian God is, is the second who is obedient. Am I right? making sense to you? You know, so and in my understanding, I'm mean, not saying to accuse people. The first set of people often created the second kind of, the, 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 um, the the teacher like John Z. Lake and uh, and the world wars to produce a kind of disciple oftentimes fall into the first category. To understand long term endurance and godly character what is really with. So often concentrate on evidence to work the Holy Spirit rather than the person of the Holy Spirit. You understand my point, the song shaped life in a spiritual mind. And you look at the 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 second category would be you know well you know you know to the contrary basically you know you understand my point you know people really know God in the way that Jesus or the Bible revealed to us you understand my point not taking a second orientation you almost or a fractured way or a skewed lens if you will to look at things. You don't look at things from one lane, basically, right? You have a holistic way to look at those things. So, you know, um, anyway, that's uh, that's one plays a record, you know? So, mm -hmm. in, the, in the know, when the presence of God, the fellowship of God with them, the devil or, or the negative things can never run through that gate. Making sense to you? You know, so... Yeah. The same thing need to put to put to death, give a, a really a little fatal blow to a to a cow, whatever. You understand my point? You know the rest with the cow, and almost like uh, uh, the that thing actually is can be used totally differently. You know, making sense? Play a worship music, <laughs> and also a uh, talking the peace and the, and and the worship, and make, making sense to you. You know, so yeah. have more power than anything else. As to the man around to you, now it's not a cow anymore. You know, it's not oxen anymore. Making sense to you? It says my point, you know, so I hope I'm making sense to you. You know, so oxen often represent in the Bible is a human strength, human will. The man is in different ways. It can be means bad things, but in a positive way, in this light, I believe the true spiritual man, basically. 
I hope I make it sense to you. There's a man wrong to、yeah. to fit into it, right? So、yeah. the true manhood is restored. You see my point, you know. So with come from full emotions, but not unbridled or forceful emotions. It's a healthy,、um, uh, you know, God approved emotions in a sense. So so、yeah. you know, it's about manhood making sense to you, you know. So. At the place inside there is how you engage your emotions. The we, God is revealing to you. I think the effect is the prayer is there is a totally different way to manage. The word manage I use is Paul uses called the rain. Am I right? Put it under basically. Making sense to you? You know so, and、um, you have an obligation to follow certain ways, to be led by certain ways, and.、Um, Well, you know, you you touch something that is very precious for you. Let me explain to you. I have been wanting to talk to you about how to deal with your emotions for a long time. Wonderful. <laughs> I mean, not、really、to brag. Okay, I'm just <laughs> saying that I, you know, I pray for you. I think about your struggles. You know, that's my point. You know, certain、yeah. things. As the Lord telling me, you're going to struggle a, a very meaningful conversation with Nicole about how to deal with her emotions.、Okay. You know, I have been said, well, I can't do scholar teaching on that. You know, I I wish Lord make it work. You know, make it work rather than do teachings.、Yeah. You and I, we are very intellectual people. You know, we like overcomplicate things. But when you're dealing with emotions, you can't be complicated about it. You just have to <laughs> to be very practical, simplify the matter, not simplistic, okay? But rather get it down, you know.、Mm-hmm. So making sense to you, you know? It's anger. It's anger. Don't think about it too much. It's anger in you. It's get agitated. It get agitated. It deepen that anger, okay? You understand my、mm-hmm. point? You know. Turn with me to a scripture in. Then we wrap it up today. So, let me let me explain to you why it's so important for you to understand. Anger is a sin,、mm-hmm. but get agitated. That's a human experience. That's everybody do. I mean, even the one who led by the spirit is going to get agitated. Making sense to you? That's your wrestling in the spirit of wrestling over the soul, rain or a soul. What do you mean, rain or a soul? What do you mean, said it? Hey, my soul, get a piece. You know, Paul,、uh, uh, uh, David said, "Am I so? Once again, my soul. You know, so pray the Lord, command his soul to change the temper and attention, making sense to you." So, in the but in Philippians, you know where I turn to. We often think those verses. It's just a good verse to recite or believe. But we don't practice it. I will tell you, Paul really giving amazing manual for practices. Okay, this you have to be really practice it. So he tell you how to pray when you get anxious, get agitated.、Mm-hmm. You know, so he said in in four chapter he said rejoice. So this is the chapter from from three in the beginning. Tell rejoice, rejoice, rejoice.、Uh-huh. I mean, the people are suffering. They have no reason to rejoice. He himself ready to die. Am I right? There's no good news around. Am I? The chapter begins with everybody abandoning him. You know, so everybody disown him. Making sense here? There's no good news from himself and from the news brought to him. Everybody was dismayed, troubled, and here Paul said, "Hey, I'm in chains. I write to you, rejoice." <laughs> Then he tell them he didn't say pray my chains will be gone, pray the evil one is going to be changed around or blind one changed around. He understands my point, you know, and God do something about them. No, he said, pray you yourself change your attitudes, you will approach life. So he said rejoice, rejoice. Said it, you know, in、um, and he said rejoice over my situation. Listen, I'm still alive, you know. <laughs> Still with you, you know. In the in four chapter four said, "Rejoice in the Lord always." I see it again. Rejoice. 
So you try to encourage them. And make the same to you as a father, you know, in this case. Young says my father, like a young children, disoriented, lost of spirit, you know, feel discouraged. Okay. Hey, give them. Hey, guys, you know, what do you grudge about? You know, so, you know so. <laughs> rejoice. Let your gentleness be evident to all. The Lord is close to you. He's here as a near, I don't believe it's a future sense, am right? Waiting for the future. He's rather talking about the near you, is that depends on him. Right now, he's close to you. He's, he's not distant God, not near you, am I? Can I help you? No, he's near to you. Now, and concerning the matter is very pinpointed word is gentleness. Yeah. Well, this word gentleness is not human idea gentleness. You know, soft-spoken. He said, rejoice! He's not soft-spoken, you know, so he rebuked yeah. them, right? So, you know, so that's my point, you know, so. So what he gentle means, means yeah. a, a, a considerate, tempered heart. A gentleness here is actually sober-mindedness. A, 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 what a word, temperate, temperate. You know, that's my point, you know, so. In other places, James talking about being considerate, you know, being being tender hearted, you know, and that's my point, you know, so don't be stubborn, don't be uh, stiff, you know, don't be uh, not necessarily proud of it, but rigid, you know, that's my point, you know, so be adaptable, be circumspect. Not to compromise, but understand that there is evil. The world is evil. You can't uh, change it overnight. You're going to suffer under evil. You're going to face terrible, unpleasant situations. And, and give yourself a let's say, hey, let's rejoice. You know, for our life, the joy, the hope, the substance of it. Is not in those experiences. Rather, those experiences provide an opportunity for us to be rich, rich in God, am I? To offer bad testimony. You know, being, being, Ian says my point, you know, so don't fight against it. Don't grudge about it. Don't agitate about it. You know, Ian says my point, you know, so rather yield to it, submit to it. In goodness, in, in, in godliness, am I right? And says my point. It doesn't mean to suffer injustice, suffer evil without the good wisdom, with good reason, am I right? Rather, because it's the will of the Lord for you to suffer those things. Making sense? And in due time, He will deliver you. Hmm. And he, He's near, He's with you in the trouble, in the water, in the fire. You know that you, you don't need to preach a sermon. But it's interesting how we train the word to be gentleness in our way. It's not gentleness, because gentleness is more about the personal treat. Am I right? So Paul is describing a way of processing things. Making sense here? You know, copy with things. Cope with things. Do not be anxious. So equivalent to the opposite now, he said, what well, contrary to gentleness is whatever. You're going to be anxious about things. Am I right? Agitated about yeah. The word is actually, don't be agitated about things. The, you see Christians normally, do, do they get it gentle or get agitated all over? This day, this hour. Yeah. And people know they get agitated. Am I right? They know, no near to have a peaceful and accommodating heart. Making sense to you? We're all being ended. I don't know. You, you understand what I'm talking about. And um, then if you don't suffer or affiliate with a kind of ways, it gives you such a pressure to you as if you have something wrong about you. You understand my point? As if you don't care too much. You don't pray too much. You don't Concern too much, am I right? You don't get agitated as they do. You don't really worry about it, am I? Right? You're heartless. You, you, you not invest in the things of God, basically. Making sense to you? So yeah. that's such, that's a foolishness. Mm -hmm. 
they were carried away by the world. They were carried away by their own unbridled souls, am I right? Undisciplined ways. And they point a finger at those godly ones, those settled ones, peaceful ones, said you're not godly enough. It's the flesh, Jesus is talking about, always persecuted what? The spirit. That's a flesh, am I right? You understand that's my point, you know, so that's a ball trying to overrun our lives. Making sense to you? You know, so anyway, let's go on. Do not be anxious about anything, but in everything, here's a solution. He you know you're going to be anxious about it, get upset with things, you know, but in what? Prayer and petition. Have you studied the difference of prayer and petition? Worse to study, am I right? So, I always wondered what the difference was. <laughs> you know, prayer is more make yourself known to God. I mean, let's see what's uh, prayer is, uh, is um, it's 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 not committed things, okay? It's like, a, hey, God, let me know your will is. Mm -hmm. Do you understand my point? You understand my point, you yeah. know? So, and petition is more about you know what you need. Okay? You understand know, my point. You know what God in life you supposed to happen. So petition can harm two two sources of God is gonna honor. One is out of desperation, brokenness. You need the help. He's your father, he will not give you stone when you ask for bread. You know, the widow Ask for justice, am I right? You understand know, my point, you know, so finally the wicked judge will give me justice, you know, Jesus said, hey, petition, petition, you know, so you know, says my ask, that God will ask his compassion to give you what you need. Now that means you ask for unjust things, am I right? Yeah. Redundant things, making sense? So it's a, from a place of, of desperation and from, from an Place really need desperate need, right? Inversion need. The second is, petition God is on us behalf intercession. You know, all intercede for the things God want to do. Making sense to you? You know, yeah. so. Uh, uh, um, you know, uh, Abraham petitioned for whom interceded for Lot. Am I right? You know, says my yeah. point. You know, so. Yeah. He, he, God will will him to do, but Abraham and Moses laid down and said, Hey God, please, let this judgment be redraw, you know, have mercy, you know. David did the same thing on the thresh floor, am I? So let this sin, uh, let me bear the sin, am I? Punish me, you know, so, you understand my point, you know, so, making sense to it? That's a petition. You know what a petition is, a pure to yeah. our heart authority for justice. For remedy, am I? For change. Making sense to you? So, yeah. So, petition is more about the legal ground. You, When you petition something, you got to come to the will of the Lord, come to the legal reality. Making sense to you? You know, so, knowing that He's a sovereign God, you know, doesn't mean you don't ask for mercy or a special favor, but the petition, He is a king. You have a king, He's a sovereign one. Making sense to you? So, making sense to you? Yeah. More of, he's God. I mean, he's, I need to, him to manage his justice, am I right? He's a, mm, yeah. as his justice maybe show me favor, am I right? He's a king, yeah. he can do what he wants, you know? So, mm. prayer is more a son to a father, if you will. A child to your parent, you know? I make it sense to you? Petition has, Everything to do with the personal relationship, not the in a legal or official capacity, if you will. Am I? God, yeah. in this case, is a loving father. Am I? He's your family, you know? So it makes sense to you? So, yeah. But uh, either way, with uh, what to present your request to God? With thanksgiving. This is a sample related to other places, you know? When you ask for something, if God, you know it's in the will of God, am I? Aligned with the will of God. Rejoice as if you received it. It's not about claiming. It's rather knowing that's the true faith, transactional faith. The Lord Jesus said, do you think the Father don't know what you ask? You know, before you even ask, you know what you know. But He do want you to ask, you know? 
So the idea to you, making sense here? So in a sense, God is waiting on us to act up to the way that He wants to, to be rendered. Am I? So therefore, we, when we get through our own self, we are the stumbling block. We are the barrier. When we clean up the way to, 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 to see the goodness of the Lord, and this, you know, burden gone, fear gone, unbelief gone. Said, thank you, Lord. You will answer my prayer. You will run my attention. Making sense to you? You know, so making sense to you? So it doesn't mean without struggle. Again, it's from a place of unbelief, be anxious, be unsettled, confused. James said it, confused, am I? You know, and says my point, a place of confusion or double mindedness, am I? Right now, we get through. Through prayer, penetration, faith is actualized. When faith is actualized, like a bridge now, it bridges your communication and transaction in the in the things of God, in the will of God. I'm making sense here. So, when it gets through, first in the spirit, first by the invisible transaction through the covenantal relationship or personal relation with God, because they're one and the same, and you know, it's granted. As I want to have you. It's a matter of waiting for it, am I? Right? Waiting for him to do it. Then the peace of God, the matter is given to him. This is other place said, do not be anxious about anything, you know, cast all your cares onto me, for he cares about you. Making sense to you? And says my point, you know, so, and uh, you remember that? So then you have done that. you done your job, you see. Now, then, Faith on the other equation, God is a God. It is a God that answers the faith, am right? He rewards the faith. You know, so he's gonna do his job. But in this transaction, do you see a strong man mentality? This this whole it work, get it work, am right? Do you see a man strong man mentality? A claiming, decreeing <laughs> as if you are God? Or not rather weak, am I? Recognize you're not in good standing, am I? Recognize you're not able to rejoice. You're not have a thankful heart, am I? Recognize you have extra thoughts, am I? You know, that's my point, you know, so make it sense to you. So now you get through. Now, when you get through, the peace of God transcends all understanding. Well, that's the key there for us, two of us, who is intellectual. To the intellectual, we think God has to reveal what He wants to do, how He do it, every detail, what is going to matter, then He wants to do it, am right? And says my point, you know. So, and yeah. God said, No, I, I want you faith. <laughs> I want you simple faith. <laughs> I want you childlike faith. Childlike faith, there is not childish faith, am right? Childlike faith. And this plea, when you heard me, I said, that You get through on me, plea. May I tell you, sister, I'm truly a testimony of believing in that regard through a weak member, my <laughs> through double money, through all kinds of trials, you know. So making sense to you. This day I look at the things God is doing in my life. I'm telling you, it's definitely a long time waiting for sure on if I can use that personal uh viewpoint, but it's really it's a proof of God's faithfulness. I mean everything. He revealed to me, speak to my heart, a hard time to come about, or sometimes you can come about, believe it, but act in my own strength, in my own imaginations, and uh, then God bring everything around. Now I, I look at it, I really don't have any, I cannot claim any credit on it, except I believe. Mm. I mean, you know the story, am I right? So you know the story. I remember we want to have a community, we're going to have a work together, we're going to have a place to edit our own children, we're going to do some content production, uh, content, you understand my point, you know, so all the things, it's just impossible, impossible, <laughs> impossible, you know, we don't have a penny, we don't have a place to stay. You know, so, and how God did it, oh man, I'm telling you, 
<laughs> None of us can claim credit to it, right? You know, so, and the, when he uproot us from one place to another, every time, exciting it is, evidence it is, but deep in the heart is a wrestling game, you know, so Lord, yeah. Lord, what's he up to, you know, so, yeah. <laughs> what's next, you know, yeah. we're excited, you want us to do it, but what's for, you know, <laughs> so, what this really means, you know, so, yeah. <laughs> just as my point, you know, so, mm -hmm. and then, another solution, now, this is talking about the, from a place, this place, to a place of peace, Place anxiety to a place, have peace in your heart. Am I right? And says my point, you know? So, it take care of your troubled mind and soul. And the peace of God which transcends all understanding. Wow. Will guard your heart. What is the person in the place? He guarding the heart. Am I right? Guarding the minds in Christ. The two engines of a human being. Where all your emotions <laughs> are sourced from. Amen? Hallelujah. He says my point, you know, so. And then he said it's something is long term. As a practice. So how you not even get to a place of anxiety? <laughs> you know, how do you employ a place not to be dragged into this mud, right? And said my in the rain of a, a human wrestling, whatever, you know, so yeah. it's instead abide. This is said abide in me. Abide in my teaching, am I? Follow my command. If you follow my teaching, do the thing I tell you to do, you abide in me. So how you abide? We think, oh, that's some super spiritual moments. <laughs> yeah. It's not. It's actually a bite when a child is driving crazy, when he cry around, running around, rolling over. You know, you not know, just uh, smart with yourself, say, hey, this is a child acting out, I can take it, you know, so, you know, that's my point, you know, so, rather no, you tender hearted as, as a mother or an adult, take care of that child, you don't want that child to, to act out again, you want a solution, right, so, but you can bite. You can buy it. Not because you know it's going to come to pass. For sure, all those are necessary. But you can buy it is because you are not yourself. Let me explain, okay? You're not there for yourself. You're not there to express yourself. You're not there to, to override God's presence with your own feelings, experiences. Do you understand my point? You are there to... Allow God to be through you. I know it sounds very philosophical, but it is the, the simplest key, a mystical key, if you will, of a really walk in the presence of God. Walk in the living glory of God. You know, you understand my point? You know, so. In this case, for example, you don't use that sword or that, that sting, stick, what's that called? The needle, whatever, to, to try to fight evil. You use it to worship God. Am I right? making sense to you? Yeah. You know, so yeah. it's to do the different usage of our mind and soul and faculties of man. So, how you do it? So, you don't worry about what outside, what's going to happen. You do it. By abiding or play the record of worship music, in this case, making sense here, you know, so, yeah. and say, brothers, whatever is true, now what is the music? Whatever is true, your mind hey, is not disengaging, lack of understanding, ignorant, rather being filled, rather than demand thing distract you, cast it outside, now you're filled with a good furniture. Good living in it, am I? Filled with laughter, filled with joy, filled with fellowship with God. So what is it? Whatever is true, whatever is noble. Every criteria is an education. Every criteria here is a course of Fonson's education. 
Do you understand what I'm saying? Think about it. If you're going to have in your home different furniture, you're going to have a carpenter, you're going to have chicken wheels, am I? You're going to have a sofa, living room, you're going to have bedroom furniture. Making sense to you? You know, that's my point, you know? So and then you can call that wholesome equipping and say, okay, this is a good home to live in. Making sense to anything missing, you know, you're going to live comfortable, you have to finish it, furnish it, am I? Right? That's not, uh, until it's done, it's not furnished. It's not going to be uh, living there very happily, am I? Right? Very efficiently, productively. You making sense to you? You have to furnish it. Yeah. So is the human mind. Paul knows what needs to be furnished in the in the mind of a, in the horse of a spiritual horse of a human mind, or the son's mind. We treat those things. Oh, that's characteristic of a, a spiritual mind. We don't treat it like Paul think, right? Paul said, "I want to move on. I want to strain forward, make every effort to know the resurrection power of the Lord." That's the same book, am I right? More than know his suffering, I want to know his resurrection power. You understand know, my point? I know more than want to die with him. I really want to live fully in him. That's what he means. He said, "I have not attained onto it, but I struggle or straining forward to attain onto it." You understand know, my point? You know so. So what is he talking about? It's not lofty things. He's talking about here the stuff. <laughs> we have idea. What those means, am I right? You can, you can fill in all kinds of storylines there, am I? In Christian doctrines, Christian teachings. But Paul himself gave a list for that. He said, whatever is true. Wow. You think about it. If you don't know even whatever is true, what truth, what false is. Am I right? Making sense to you? You know so. How are you going to allow truth? You don't go, you don't even want to know about it. Oh, confess it. How are you gonna love it? But if we love it, doesn't mean you possess it. You can walk it out. Right. But it's starting with something. You think about. It. Okay. So what is truth? And what is truth? Am I right? So, and then, how can I know? How to practice it? How can I walk it out? Am I? And says my point. You know, if I walk it out, how can I educate others? Pass on to others? That's one set of thing. Just one set. What is true? What is true? What is noble? Wow. Truth. Truth. True or false. It's about things that are real or not, am I right? In says my point, you know, so real in God, ultimate in God or not, finalizing God or not. But noble, that's a different. That's not reality per se, that's a personality. That's a character. Making sense to you, you know, so making sense to you, you know. I walking on the ground, the ground is true. It's not an ocean, you know, I'm standing on the ground. I can stand on water in the ocean, right? So that's, that's my truth. I stand on the ground. Now, but I stand there for a good reason. If I saw selfish gain to prove myself, then that is, you stand in the ground, it's true, you stand on the ground. You're not, you're not deceived, you're standing in the ocean, you stand on the water. Make it sense to you, you know, but you stand for your own self. Stand for wrong purposes. Let's give you one simple illustration. All those character traits here is more than character traits. They are divine education. Something to strain forward to possess it. Mm -hmm. What is right? That's judgment. It's something a fair gift to you to discern what is more than true or not, but what is right? Making sense to you? You know, so not everything true is right. The devil is real, but he's not right. right. Making sense to you? Whatever is pure, you know, whatever is lovely, whatever is admirable, all those attributes are talking about the different 
are proximities and approaches, if you will, to the final thing, which is the life of the Lord. He said, dwell on these things. Abide in those things. Abide in my teaching. Think about those things. If anything is excellent or praiseworthy, think about such things. So your mind is not spent by anxious about things, worry about things, wrestling, entangled by different things. Now you can be spending what? In good things. And he said, you know, whatever you learn from me, receive, heard of seeing me, put it in the practice, get it done. <laughs> Start with the baby steps, right? So get it done. And then that's reality. Here's the key. Then the God of peace will be with you. Remember he said, let your gender be evident to all, for the Lord is a year. On that place, it's only a reality, am I? It's only a revelation. Now you have the reality. Making sense to you? It's, you see my point? The God of peace is with you. That's what you have in the vision. You have the God of peace with you. Am I? You're not worried about the thing that overwhelm you. Am I? Can damage you. Rather knowing that they're all taken care of if you abide in certain things. And that music, that beautiful uh, playing, is the thing that pertains to what I think Paul is talking about here. And with that, I'm going to wrap it up, sister. I'm going to have you to pray for us. So, yeah. You pray for us we ramp up. So I thank you for your time. I, I spent about too too long for you. I hope it's helpful for you, however. So yeah, yeah. it's very helpful. Thank you so much. Mm. Go ahead. Father, your ways are just not our ways. They're so different than anything that I've ever known. Different than anything I ever learned on a Sunday in a church. They're so far above our ways. And it's a kindness that you invite us into knowing them. I thank you for all you have done for and through your son here, God. I, I, could, see, I could see that you have been with him a long time. You have been journeying with him a long time. You've walked with him side by side, God, and, and revealed yourself through suffering and through peace and hope. I thank you for that, Lord. Thank you for his journey with you. And I thank you, God, that you have enlightened him, God, with a, an understanding of your ways and a knowing of who you are because we are in desperate need of it as a people as a human kind mankind we must know you in your ways because they are different than ours and we need people your sons that have been disciplined and have been molded and shaped and their ears have been opened to you. Their minds have been opened to you and their ways are now your ways. Mm -hmm. I mean, your ways are now their ways. I just thank you so much, God, that you allow a mouthpiece
And I hope with all my heart that we would be open to hear, to learn, to grow, and to become like you as well. Mm. I just pray, Father, that Emmanuel would not grow weary in doing good. Mm. Because we much, it is much, much needed to receive what you have given and spoken to him, Lord. We need it to pour out over us. Very much so, Lord. Because you don't do things in vain and you did no thing in vain when it came to this son, Father, because he's been obedient. He's being obedient to your word, to your spoken word to him. He is a vessel that is, um, I want to say, not made with clay, but with gold. I can see this little, this vessel being poured out. And it's not merely made of clay or merely made of anything with hands that men could make or that is fragile enough to break. It's a pure vessel. And what it pours forth is of great value and worth, especially because it's poured from the hand of God. I can see the vessel very clearly. It's beautiful and shiny. And it's pouring out Thank you, Lord. Father, I, uh, I pray that we would receive, receive the good words. We would not take it for granted that we would be open and ready to receive. Because you are a provider and you have provided. You have provided through your son. And I pray that as you have done that, Lord, as you have provided through your son, Lord, that we would be filled up to overflowing, Father, so that we could become these pure vessels alongside and that we might be poured forth by your hand. I imagine it to be a, obviously a thankful position, but a lonely position, Father, to to have the weight. It's a burden that I know my brother gladly takes on because he is so <laughs> grateful to be your son and to be used by you. So, Father, I pray that uh, we would rise to the occasion so that we could stand shoulder to shoulder with your son and uh, be a blessing not always being in need so much um, but nonetheless father i am I'm constantly blessed and i and i am i am in a very aware and very much aware of what you are doing here and what you are doing with him and it is no small thing. It is no small thing because the the workers are few. They are few. I wish it wasn't so, Lord. Oh, I wish it wasn't so, but it is. So we thank you, Lord. I thank you, God, that you would consider your daughter worthy of being taught because it is no small thing. Thank you, Jesus. 
you are making me very, very aware of what, what you are allowing. And so, Father, I, I ask as you hmm. pour into me, Lord, through this son of God, that I receive all that you are doing. Oh, bless you, sister, you know, such a, a wonderful vessel in the Lord, yourself, and uh, your, all your family are dear to us, you know that, am I so dear to me, so I thank you for the trust you lend to us, to me in person, and may the Lord honor it, on our heart towards one another, and through us. As you said, do a good work, you know. To, to <laughs> it's a joy to 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 know the pride of the Father, and we we all struggle every day, you know. You have your struggle, I have my struggles, but uh, God is not a God unaware of our weaknesses, our struggles. He made full provision for that. Not that we can claim it. But we have to to make it a um, a, a living reality for us, if you will. You know, it's a, it's like a pool of water, a well of water, never run dry. You know, so whenever we thirst and need, we can always come to it. He never fails in his faithfulness, in his forgiveness, in his, uh, his loving kindness. You know, God's love is a long suffering. You know, when we understand that through real life experiences, He loves towards us. Um, not because we love Him, or because we're good. And there's no good thing in us. <laughs> that's, not, that's not a humility statement. Oh, okay, a pious stancher, a stance. But it's just a simple reality. You know, He's the source of all goodness for us. But it is a joy to become the founding head for us and never run dry. Rivers of many, uh, rivers of many water or something like that, you know. So, yeah. And you have been a tremendous blessing to all the people around you. Whether they acknowledge or not, be able to, 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 to appreciate that or not. Um, you don't need to worry about it. You know, I speak to myself here, so we don't need to worry about those things. You know, so what do we do is the approval. You know, sometimes God, thank, to, thank us. I have a few occasions, God come to me, not patting on my shoulder, but uh, he, he encouraged us, said, you know. So I think sometimes he said, well done, you know, my good, faithful servant. So... He showed his appreciation. I remember the dream uh, some time ago I had some of the wine. Uh, so the Lord and the Father have a little chair to send an angel on my way. Said, you got to make sure he's not grumbling again because he don't have wine to drink. You know? so, <laughs> they are not the words that I cannot have done the job they, they designed for me to do. You know, the words that uh, my hard turn uh be dispirited you know so in that sense my part you know just like uh, okay i got some tasks i gotta do it you know so they want me to know they love me so much and they knows every everything but they, you know they were bowling i remember they were sitting on the throne you know in the throne room they were laughing over me, you know. I have a ball. <laughs> I mean, the song. I remember the laugh was so loud, and so 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 happily because I, I was here grumbling, you know. Okay, I got all this good food. I don't have my wine, you know. So, <laughs> and all my peculiar kind of wine when I grew up with, you know, some Chinese wine. So, 
And the angel, yeah, the, 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 the Lord walked all the way out of the, I don't see this is the holy place, the holy city, and then sent the angel on the way, you know, so and he said, he grabbed the two bottles and said, you got to make sure that he got this two bottles and tell him it's from me, your brother, you know, so uh, make sure this is the number one priority for you. Because uh, even you don't send a message, I know he's going to do his good job. But I want you to know that he knows that we know he's in the struggle. We know he's, uh, he's on happy thought. And it was uh, so humiliating, you know? So, I mean, <laughs> see, here I have got all kinds of good food. I'm no hungry, you know? So, and I cook whatever I want, and I just. I don't know, com complaining about it, don't have a wine going there, you know, so. <laughs> oh, the human foolishness, you know, so. Yeah. Maybe that vision that I had about the wine might have been for you again. I don't know, so, yeah, uh, maybe, so. Yeah, and the Lord told me to do wine. Actually, I sent me the vision for you. He said the time to uncock the new wine. Yeah, uh -huh. I, I see ahead of time praying for this meeting. I know it's meaningful. I see the Lord said, you know, your vision is all about the journey into a place, whether you are able to reach your destiny. I want to tell you, sister, you don't worry about your journey. You just go into the door. The door is open for you. You know, so we, you know, man looking for external evidence for spiritual vision I mean, but hey, God is an invisible God. Mm -hmm. He created everything out of his word, his mm -hmm. counsel. So if you understand this truth, great mystery, very easy for us to think we have. We don't understand that. But have you know the reality? If you understand he is a divine counselor. If you understand, he's invisible. So what do you do? You live out his counsel. Live in his counsel. Be a good specimen. Uh, more than practitioner, am I? His counsel. The embodiment is divine counsel. And uh, then you are him. And he created everything, give all the time and space to catch all kind of experiences in the environment for a human being to other creatures. So then we can be the expression of the living council, his word. Oh, yeah. See, before yeah. everything created, then finalized, am I? So I'll, I'll find this, I think. Go ahead. No, I was just saying, yeah, that's good. <laughs> bless the Lord. And the Lord bless you, and uh, let's see mm -hmm. next time. Okay, I'm sorry to occupy too much of time. Maybe we can next time do this. Go to the shorter. So, well, bless oh, yeah, you, sister. Okay, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, bye then. Okay, Thank okay, you. okay. Bye. okay. Uh -huh. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, you saw what? Last time we prayed, you saw something. Do you remember when we, when we spoke and, and I saw it was a golden, like a craft or something? You know what I'm saying? Like a Actually, I, 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 did I record that? I might record it. I think I, so. I think <clears> yes, did. but I did not um, uh, remember where it was. Can you give me a recap a little bit? Yeah, mm -hmm. I just saw... Um, it was a golden pitcher. That's a good word for it. It was a golden pitcher and it was being, and I believe it was you and it might've been Tim too. I, there could have been two, mm. but, um, I believe it was two and, and they were being poured into, but they were tipping over to pour into a few more. There was maybe five to seven more and they were just sitting up straight. 
like the the two on top were tipping over into these other ones mm. and these other ones were being filled to overflowing mm. if that makes sense and they were all gold as well mm. so that that's that was the fullness of the vision before i just had told you there was that, that i know the lord was saying that it was you and it was a vessel oh. a gold 